The first court-martial trial of a general officer in the 75-year history of the United States Air Force has come to an end. Major General William T. Cooley, former commander of the Air Force Research Laboratory, was accused of one charge of sexual assault under Article 120 of the Uniform Code of Military Justice with three specifications. General Cooley was found guilty of abusive sexual contact when he forcibly kissed the victim in a car on August 12, 2018. A military judge sentenced General Cooley to a reprimand and forfeiture of nearly $11,000 per month for five months. You know, the imposition of a, le a letter of reprimand uh, and significant financial penalties is actually a, a very significant sentence. And so I think the military judge here did send a, a message that she was, in fact, taking this seriously. Uh, and there certainly could potentially be uh, have an impact on his retirement grade if he were to retire based on that letter of reprimand. And so this was uh, by no means um, an insignificant punishment. To the contrary, it was actually a very significant punishment. During the nine-day trial, 10 witnesses testified, including the victim, and hundreds of electronic messages were introduced as evidence. General Cooley himself did not testify. What I think it says to survivors of sexual assault is that they can feel safe to come forward uh, and report what happened, that they don't have to be afraid of the status or the rank of the individual who offended against them, and that the Air Force will hear them, will take it seriously, will investigate it, and where appropriate, will prosecute uh, the individual who, who offended against them, again, without fear or favor and without regard to their rank or status. The Air Force case began in December 2019, when the victim and her spouse reported the assault to the Air Force Office of Special Investigations. Major General Cooley is very thankful um, for the judge's compassion here. It's been a very trying time for the better part of the last four years, and our intent here moving forward is to try and repair some relationships, both uh, uh, with the, within the Cooley family and, of course, with the Air Force. He's had uh, in an otherwise unblemished uh, more than three-decade career. He's made significant contributions to our nation uh, and our nation's security, both in the past and going forward here. And so we're looking forward to repairing those relationships relationships.